think I will slowly introduce Angela. Uh, today she will be talking about uh, what a lunchbox can teach you about decision making. So Angela uh, is engaging with organizations into learning and experimenting what uh, agility means for their context, participating from an idea to implementing final products and services. So today uh, she will share with us uh, about convenient and coherent way of decision making called Bentoism. I hope we all will learn a lot from Angela and uh, how to take a different viewpoints to our decisions as well, how they unfold from various perspectives. So I'm giving a stage for, for you, Angela, and yeah, good luck and waiting everyone's questions. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you for having me. Uh, I would like to invite you if you want to keep your cameras on or if you want to turn them on, you're uh, most welcomed. I would love to see your faces, but if you don't, it's also, it's also okay. Um, don't hesitate to put questions on the, um, well, on the session Q&A. If I don't answer them uh, immediately, well, I, I will answer them uh, afterwards. Uh, what I would like to talk about today uh, is about decision making. So we will more or less uh, work on three different things. We will first do a kind of reflection about our own interests. We will uh, see uh, what Bentuism is about, what is this thing of uh, the lunchbox, and as well, uh, I will leave you with a question that uh, triggers this kind of uh, reflection. Okay. So if we're okay until uh, until now, I will just share my screen. Okay. Let me just. I'm having some difficulties into taking out. Okay, just a second. Okay. No. Okay, no, I'll leave it like this. Okay. So what a lunchbox can teach you about uh, decision making. So we'll talk about a convenient guide to coherence. Okay. So why are decisions hard? Decisions, decisions are hard because we are in a normative domain. So we're not asking if something is heavier or lighter, or if something is a sooner or later. We're asking about like, is one option is better than the other? And this kind of uh, questions uh, that we face, uh, whether we're talking about like, uh, shall we build uh, this feature or not? Shall we do this uh, meeting or not? Shall we call this kind of uh, questions? They are always related to decisions. Some of them are harder than the, than the others, but they normally uh, need to reflect some kind of interest, some kind of preference that uh, I would like to work uh, with you today. So what is this thing of uh, Bentoism? So this is a nice metaphor that was brought to me by someone else. And Bento means something that is convenient. So if we think about the box that uh, we're uh, seeing right now, we see that there are several compartments. So it's not something like just a lunchbox and you put everything mixed. It's just like, no, there's different uh, parts of it. And each part of the food is, you know, it's meant to bring you something different, a different nutritional value that, uh, than the other part of the box. Uh, it's also something that uh, it's a sign of love. It's a demonstration of love because most of the times these lunchboxes, they are prepared by someone uh, from the family. So in more or less uh, equal uh, partners, the family, maybe it's uh, the father or the mother that prepares for the kids, but could also be the mother preparing for the father or the father for the mother or well with partners and, and depending on the different uh, family context. So this, this box has also a different partic uh, particularity, which is it's supposed to fill you in at 80%. So after you eat from a bento box, you're not supposed to feel completely full and you're not supposed to feel completely hungry either. So it just gives you that kind of uh, right uh, amount of food that keeps you striving uh, for more, okay? Um, and it comes, yeah, from the word, uh, from a word in Japanese that means uh, convenient. It has four spaces, okay? And uh, I would like us to uh, work right now uh, individually. I don't know if you have some pen and paper and uh, I would you know, give you maybe some seconds for you to, to take one. Okay.
Okay, can you see my screen? I suppose so. If not, just please uh, raise your hand. Um, so what are this, uh, these four spaces? We have uh, two lines. So one is about the self-interest. And the other one, it's about the time. Okay. So on the shorter uh, life uh, cycle of, of time, we have the now me. And it's also my uh, shorter um, self-interest. So this is like, this is just, you know, who I am right now at this, at this very moment. If I think about like in the future, I will have the future me. So this is Angela that uh, took uh, all the right decisions at the precise moment. I mean, she was uh, the one that had the best interest at her heart. She took the decisions correctly. So when I think about the future me, this is uh, what I have in mind. Like this is the me in five or 10 years that took all the, the right decisions. Ate well, did sports, uh, took the right uh, career decisions, uh, this, this kind of things. And we have as well the now us, which is related to the community. For example, Age uh, Tour Vilnius is a community. Uh, the Agile uh, community is a community. You might have like different communities on your workplace or even on your sports club, or it could be your family as well, your group of friends. So this is like the group of people that uh, we interact with and for whom we care about, okay? And then we have the fourth space, which is the future us. So in this space, we can think of like uh, this same people that I just spoke about, family, friends, co-workers, uh, colleagues uh, into the future, like in five, 10 years, or you can go as long as like, okay, three generations from now, what, what will happen to, to these people? I mean, what, uh, who, 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 are, who will we be, okay? So you have four spaces, the now me, the future me, the now us, and the future us. So what I would like you to, to think uh, individually at this moment, I will give you uh, three minutes, more or less. I don't, well, I don't see how we can count the time here, but uh, I will count it uh, myself. Um, if you think about these four boxes, what, are, what is important for you? So if you think about the now me, what's important for you right now? If you think about the future you, what's important in the future for you? What you would like to get for yourself? The now us, what's important within your family, community, friends right now? And what would be important for the future in this group of people or even people that don't exist right now? Um, so three minutes, I see here in my screen that it's a 54. So at 58, uh, at 57, we will be back, okay?
Okay. So for me, it would be something like, if I just draw this again, so we have the self-interest here and we have the time. So if I think about the now me, what is important for me right now is to have some sense of uh, security, for example, like uh, that I feel safe uh, regarding my health, if I'm uh, working uh, with a client or if I'm going shopping, um, I want to feel uh, you know, safe as well in terms of uh, financial. There's a lot of people losing their jobs. So this is a kind of a worry as well. Uh, so this is what the Naomi uh, worries about. I also want to have some kind of like, um, you know, pleasure in the sense that I want to be able still to, you know, meet my friends and see my family. I'm thinking right now that maybe I will not be able to see them for Christmas. And this is something that it's uh, kind of important for me. Uh, and another one is, for example, that I'm able to do things uh, without having too much of bottlenecks. So I need a, a big sense of like uh, freedom and uh, autonomy. So as you can imagine, these are uh, tough times for me. I don't know if for you if you feel uh, related to this. Uh, for the future me, what's important is that I'm in a good health. Uh, I feel that it's important that I uh, keep uh, growing in terms of uh, knowledge, not only that I know more, but that I know better, um, that I keep somehow listening, but that I become a better listener in the future, and that I, that indeed that I improve. This is a little bit what I expect for the future me. If I think about um, the now us, I want them to stay healthy as well, to have the sense of security as well, like uh, wherever they are, uh, where, where we go. I want this uh, for, for everybody in my community. Um, I also want connection. I think that this is important for me. Uh, you know, some kind of like growth in a way that uh, we keep cherishing each other. And when I think about the future uh, us, I'm thinking like further away. So I'm thinking like organizations and how we work will uh, have a balance of people, profits and planet. And that this will be, uh, you know, manageable. So it's something that I still hope that we can see it in our lifetimes. But uh, for the next generations, I hope that, you know, this is not an issue, that uh, they can really build businesses and institutions and organizations of whatever sort that have a good balance of people, profit and planet. Okay, so when I think about what is all these things that are important uh, for me, I can see that somehow, for example, the security uh, is needed for me in order to um, be able to think as well on, on the future me. So there's no way I can have like um, good health growing in improvement if I'm not feeling safe, uh, if I'm walking on, on the street uh, because of uh, COVID or if because I, I don't know, some, somehow I lose uh, my job and I have no income. So there's no way I can think of like uh, growing as a person and as a professional if I'm stressed uh, in, this, in this sense. Uh, the same way, um, Security is important for me to be able to help my community. For example, if I want to have a connection with them, I need to be as well in a state where I can actually connect with someone and that I can uh, be able to listen to them and not always think about my, my own problems. Um, and if I think on the future us, uh, how can I think about balancing people, profit and planet if I don't have security right now? So all of the spaces that are important to keep you 80% uh, satisfied with, uh, with your decisions, okay? Uh, I don't know uh, if somebody uh, wants to chat, maybe I will check after. If you want to put uh, some of the things that are important for you, I would love to, to further discuss it with you. But this is, this is more or less what the bentoism is. It's like, first you need to uh, think about what are the things that are important for you in this four spaces? 
uh, and then you need to be able to find patterns. And this thing of finding patterns, you will do it with the, with practice. It's not something that maybe there are some connections that are very easy for you to, to make, but some of them will be like with time, with the different bentos that you will be making, that you will be able to see uh, what is um, what is important for you. Okay, so for me, it's definitely having this sense of like uh, safety at this moment, uh, but also uh, being able to grow. And I can't do one thing without the other. Okay. Um, then I will change screen again. Okay. So you need to find yourself your own patterns and values for each uh, for each of them. Um, like I, I mentioned, minds are a bit uh, safety for the now me, pleasure and autonomy. For the future me, it's this purpose, this greed, this uh, per pursuit of mastery. So we want to be better in the future. We want to go. We want to move forward. We don't want to be in the same situation right now especially uh, considering the world, uh, the world context. Uh, but this, this is the better us. The fairness, the community and the tradition is something uh, about the now us. So just now I was also talking still about um, the talk of uh, Lisette, uh, of how we organize uh, coffees and this kind of thing. So it's like, how do we create, for example, new forms of tradition in this uh, new uh, setting? Um, of working remotely or even uh, conferences that are remote, how can we create this uh, traditions and how can we create the sense of community uh, between us uh, or uh, fairness, like that we all get what we need. So these are things that are, that are important uh, normally on the time frame of uh, now as a community. And the future us, which is this question of being aware, having the knowledge and being sustainable that will allow us to move forward and to progress in, in a direction that is, a, well, good, a good direction. So this is a little bit like the overview of what it is. Um, the bento box, okay, what is the, ben what is the bentoism? So the four spaces will give you like uh, more vision than just this, the safety part, the now me. We tend to think of them, uh, and I'll share my screen again. I hope you're not getting dizzy. Okay. So after we understand our, our patterns, we can also understand that most of the times when we're trying to make decisions, we are not, we don't have only this part to worry about. We don't think only about the now me. So we don't think only about this part here. And we also take into consideration the future me. The now us and the future us. So our spectrum of interest is not only focused on one part, it's much more broader than that. So we really earn a lot of things if we think beyond our own small self interest of this moment right now. Uh, and if we take it like further on our communities, our friends, uh, our uh, different uh, kind of organizations and as well in terms of time. Because time has a very powerful um, 
property. So it, it's very, it's easier to remember than it's easier to imagine. Okay. Uh, and time has also the power of reshaping our values. That's why it's so important to put it as well on this time, on this uh, decision-making uh, framework. So for example, let's check with uh, some, some examples. Uh, I would love to hear from you, but I don't think it's, uh, it's possible. So I will just uh, keep going myself. Okay, so for example, now we will put here a question. Um, shall we uh, build product X? I don't know what the product X uh, will do exactly. Uh, if you think this on the context of a team, so the now me uh, would be the team. Uh, the now us will be the, the company. The future me will be the future of the team. And the now us could be either the future of the company or um, the future of the world. So shall we build the product X? So let's imagine that the product X is like a huge uh, breakout in the, in the market, but it has some features that are a, bit, a little bit woozy that can, you know, implement the kind of uh, global surveillance over citizens, okay? But it will be a, a huge sort of profit uh, for the company and for the shareholders. So what shall the team do? Uh, so on one side, if we are taking about uh, security, if we take into account our uh, patterns, uh, we might think, well, it's a good idea. You know, it's like, this will be awesome. Our company will be known for this. Uh, it will uh, allow us to keep our jobs for uh, many years. Uh, our shareholders will be uh, very happy. So I think there are several reasons why we should do this. So the now me, the team says yes. The now us company wise, it's also, you know, yes, because we are uh, thinking about uh, profit. Okay. Uh, if we th keep thinking about the profit and these patterns that we have found out, we also have seen that this is also good. Uh, for the future of the company and also for the future uh, me. But then if we think about like the negative impacts of this company. So let's say that, uh, you know, we're building this app, but this will also have impact on our autonomy and our freedom. So maybe I'm also saying, yeah, but this is also not good for us. And then if I think about my community, I don't think that this is also good for them. Uh, if I think about the future me, um, well, maybe this keeps being good for the future me in, in terms of uh, capabilities, but it will also be bad for me in terms of like uh, my mastery, because maybe uh, society will uh, be mad and uh, I will be always known as the person that built this. So maybe it's this is not that good. If I want to be a different person in the future, uh, I, I don't think that this uh, is right for me. And in terms of society of the next generations, is this good for them? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. But if uh, it's a global surveillance, we could say that maybe it's, it's not. Uh, so if we think like something more individual, like, Shall I accept this job offer? So here's my self-interest and here is time. So at this moment, I feel safe at uh, my job. I feel happy. Um, there's no particular reason for me at this moment to accept that this new job offer that, it, that it's coming up. So I might not you know, see a big point in doing it uh, right now for me. So I can either put like, okay, maybe a question mark or I can just say, well, you know what? It's, uh, it's yes, it's, uh, you know, I don't know very well exactly if I should do this right now or, or not. But if I think about the future me, 
this new job, uh, I'm going to learn a new programming languages um, and the company is going to teach me, uh, it's going to teach me that, or I have a very interesting career or it's a, you know, it's, it's a position that allows me to grow in the future. So it might be very interesting to have, um, to accept this job offer, for example. So the future me will say yes. Okay. The now us. Well, this job is perfect, but uh, I will have to work uh, in a different time zone, which means I cannot have uh, dinner with my family in any of those days, in any of the weekdays. So is this something that it's important for me? Uh, this also means that I will not be able, for example, to attend sports uh, after, uh, after my normal uh, working day. So is this, is this good for me, this uh, job offer? Uh, and maybe I will decide that for the now us, it's no, okay? For the future us, I can think of like this job offer uh, is in an institution that has really a good uh, way of uh, looking into society, of looking into technology. It's, it's really offering a way of making an impact. And I think that... Uh, I would feel so happy if we can accomplish its missions. So uh, I think it's it's a yes, okay? This doesn't mean necessarily that we count three yeses and one no, and then we decide for yes. It might be that we decide that, you know, this no is more important than the other three yeses. This is again, our normative power in action. It might be that we decide to uh, simply give more power to this one right now. Or maybe we can talk to our family and explain. And uh, maybe like it's, uh, we're almost all in some kind of remote work. Maybe lunch becomes more important than dinner, you know? And then maybe it's the yes that we will go for and we will accept this job offer. So there's not a question of like this, this bentoism, it doesn't let you uh, think of, um, you know, that it's a good or a bad decision. We cannot foresee that in, in advance. We just bring in other different perspectives and timeframes so that we can take not more necessarily more informed uh, decisions, but a decision that it's value-based. We, anyway, we always take decisions that are based on values. The only thing here is that we visualize them and we check that, yes, okay, I feel connected with the, with these values and uh, I'm taking this decision based because I'm prioritizing um, the future impact in society uh, rather than uh, the immediate effect. It's like, it's how anyway, we will have to take a decision that it will be always hard, but we can bring different things into, into the balance. So before we finish, I would like just to leave you how I normally start uh, my weeks. Uh, I keep a track more or less of the bentos that I'm, that I'm making. Um, so I have a kind of a notebook. Uh, of course, you cannot see my notebook. Okay. I have a notebook that, where I will keep uh, my uh, different uh, bentos. And I will sometimes read them uh, to check how clear my values are, are becoming, okay? And then what I do is uh, for the week, I do a kind of a planning. So now me, future me, the now us and the future us, okay? So, the now me is uh, basically where I will do the follow up with uh, my clients. It's like it, it's normal work, so I will uh, see what uh, what workshops do we have planned for this week. This uh, this this kind of things. Uh, this is related not only to the pleasure that I withdraw from my work, but also to the security because if uh, I don't uh, work, I don't get paid. So this this is important uh, for me. Also, uh, I committed myself to go one one time per um, week to the yoga class. So I might not exercise more than that, but once a week I will go. So I will uh, reserve uh, my yoga class uh, for a week because it's important for me as well to have this, this sense of uh, uh, 
feeling healthy, which, which is also good for me. Observe. It's booking, actually. So I will book it. Okay. I'm also studying. Uh, I'm studying philosophy, so it's important for me to keep up uh, with, uh, you know, the assignments that I have for, uh, for my week, okay? Uh, for the future me, there's something that I, I want to learn that it's about circular economy. Okay. Uh, and I also need to do some investigation this week about my master thesis uh, in philosophy, okay? But when I'm doing this, I am already thinking about what is important for me and what I want to do this week, okay? If I think about now us, uh, I like to um, spend time with my family. Even if it's like uh, sometimes doing a video conference or calling one member of, uh, of my family or having a, well, on the nuclear family, uh, having a, a nice lunch uh, where we cook a special meal. Um, I also like to get in touch with the people uh, that I work with. Uh, this this uh, week started with a call with uh, Charles-Louis Demar, that is uh, another uh, speaker at, the, at this conference. So doing this, this kind of things enters in, in my planning. And on the future us, uh, I have been uh, investigating about um, kind of ideas of tech for good, uh, especially in the, in, the, in the domain of ML and uh, AI. So checking what are, what are they doing and how I can get involved. Okay, so this bento is also used, uh, taking into consideration what are your values how you want to program your week, okay? So when I see this, I think of like, yes, I can sense here what I'm valuing this week. So on one sense here, I keep valuing, yes, my security, my autonomy. Here I see the pursuit of mastery because I want to be better. Here, I feel a lot of like the community and the tradition in a way. And when I think about the future us, here I see uh, mainly the awareness in a way that I hope that will drive me to knowledge, okay? So this is a little bit how uh, the bento um, how the bento works. You can also do this with your team uh, individually, uh, but also in a team retro, for example, where each person uh, makes this kind of uh, thinking or like, okay, it's the end of the sprint or uh, uh, how I am right now, how is the team right now? what do we want how do we want to be in the next uh, in the next sprint? So this is also a way of uh, mixing the connection but also building something together as a team um, and just uh, in order to finish uh, i would like to share uh, with you uh, some resources so this uh, this is based uh, on yancy's uh, talk in the web summit he was uh, the he was a co-founder in uh, kickstarter and he launched this uh, movement that he calls the bentoism they have kind of meetups uh, and it's a global community that it's uh, it's very interesting and i I invite you to to appear you just have to click on the you just have to go to, on the website and uh you can find the instructions there i will put the presentation public i don't know exactly where but uh, i will uh, share it with you and uh, the last question that i wanted to um share with you is that what drives me uh, in this mental reflections are what's the effect of the work you do on yourself and on others. So this is the question for me that drives all the um, all the thinking of like, okay, what do I want for uh, for my week that it's uh, coming ahead? Okay. 
Uh, I don't know if we have questions right now. I left some moment for uh, questions. Okay, so I will encourage everyone to, to think of uh, one or, or the other question. I will use my privileged situation to ask you a question. Uh, ah, okay. So maybe I have two in my head. So as far as intent, you first question would be you. So you are doing this exercise for yourself, like more or less once yeah. a week to see the, the week. So the question, uh, second question would be, uh, I understood that it's in some form, it is an assessment of uh, how do I feel now and sort of uh, what will be my week, week, what is important for me just to understand yourself. And from other hand, it might be a tool sort of to adjust uh, your actions so that they would better fit actual your maybe needs or long-term plans. How would be your, your own situation there? Uh, like whether you use it more as an assessment or more as an adjustment tool to, to sort of better fit your values? Well, actually both. Uh, and today is a one year old of uh, the Bento uh, society. So this, uh, this community is also uh, quite uh, recent. So there's, there's two things. There's, I might discover that uh, there's something new for me that I haven't uh, thought before. This is, uh, okay, uh, week after week, I start sensing that are, there are things that are important. For example, security, it's not that it wasn't important for me, but it has a different impact right now in the sense of like, well, I don't want, I don't want to get the virus and then spread it all over to, to my family. So th this kind of thinking, for example, is very context driven. So regarding the context you might discover new things that uh, you know before you didn't think about them and on the other hand it could be like uh, for example um, there's a huge uh, proposition i don't know from uh, a sector that i don't necessarily like to work with but it's like it's amazing it's like a, an amazing financial offer but uh, it will have high costs in the planet. So a lot of people would be fired. It's like, is this something that I want to participate in? Well, I don't think so. Even though, even though it can be very interesting financially, but it's also okay if I am like in a situation that if I need this job or well, I will die from hunger and I don't have a, how to pay my rent, is it really that bad that I, I take uh, this job for a while? Well, maybe not. So it's like, we need to be in, in a context to see if like, okay, are we opening up for different kind of values that we didn't have before because the context is different because we're getting um, more in touch with ourselves and what, with what's important for us? Or this is like, no, this is, uh, you know, I, I don't wanna do this. This is going to distract me from my plans and I keep where I am. So this decision, it's a no. And I also found out some kind of uh, sabotage uh, things like, for example, you don't feel like doing sports, so you ask a friend for, to go for a drink. <laughs> Been there. Sound, sounds definitely familiar. No judgment, trust me, <laughs> really no judgment. So this kind of things like, okay, it's great to go for a drink with a friend, but I mean, is the sport uh, important uh, for you? Well, maybe not for the now you and but for the future you is important and it's okay if you're if you're putting first the now us you and your friend going for a drink then you doing sports which is good in the future for you because maybe your friend needs to talk so it's or you need to talk so it's you know maybe it's better to go for a drink than doing sports but it, it's this kind of like okay you have more things on the balance you still have to take your hard decision <laughs> uh, but you have more to base yourself to to do it. Yeah, nice. That that is a really nice additional tools, additional questions to consider between before each uh, each and every decision. Okay, so I I think there are no more questions uh, here. So I, I really want to say a huge thanks uh, for Yankela for doing this presentation. Uh, again, I would love to encourage everyone to use menti.com uh, ID, which we have to provide feedback to Angela. I think she would for sure would appreciate any, yes. <laughs> any positive, negative, any kind of feedback for, for her. I think it's really important for each and every presenter to, to get ideas what to improve and how to become better. Please. Uh, one other uh, recommendation to everyone um, in the resources of the conference, you can uh, schedule yourself uh, 
for a meeting with Agile Clinic, with our partner Agile Coach, uh, professional coaches. Uh, so you could discuss any any of your questions related to Agile and maybe you can help get help. It's for free. Uh, we for sure encourage everyone to use this opportunity. And uh, now I think in 15, 18 minutes, uh, we will have uh, our main track uh, with EndNote today. So I invite everyone to join there. And I think you might try to join earlier. There might be a quiz, so it might be something interesting. Don't miss it out. So uh, everyone, let's meet 